Hey everybody, David Lemon here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import your contacts to GrooveMail. When you have the import option enabled, you're going to see, when you click on leads, you're going to see an option here, imported leads, and also you will have a drop down with add multiple leads. This means that your, uh, your GrooveMail account has importing functionalities. In order to import leads, you just need to click on this button, add multiple leads, and then go through the wizard answering each and every one of these questions in detail. We do a manual import. That means that there is a, there is a real life person in the back, uh, background checking all of these answers, checking the, the information and making sure that quality lists are being added and that, uh, that the emails with without proper sources, the low quality emails don't get imported into our system so that we don't have any deliverability issues later on. So let's just see the first question. Please tell us how you collected these records. Is this uh, collecting the leads through a sign up form on your website, on your, on your GrooveCard store or any kind of other shops? Would that be uh, through a different uh, system like chatbots or some other softwares, please just mention how you collected the, the emails. Also, if you're using a different ESP, which means email service provider, would it be MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, Aweber, or any other platforms, uh, just mention over here which one. All right, once we added the information, let's click the next button. And then over here, we're going to add on the website URL. So here you will need to add a website that the that you built your mailing list from. Make sure that you put in a website URL that you have an email connected to. I'm going to show you why. So I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to type in groovedigital.com. I'm going to add this in. Uh, okay, so as you see, this needs to be a valid URL. So let's just add HTTPS column, comma forward slash forward slash. This is now a URL and the error message has uh, has been removed. So let's just click, click add button and then we have the website URL. When we click the next button here, we need to confirm the ownership. So basically it's going to take the website and then we need to kind of put in a username. It's going to send us an email to the actual domain of this website. So I'm going to type in David over here because I have my email is david at groovedigital.com. In your case, you're just going to be typing in the email that you have access to for that domain that you, uh, that you mentioned earlier. Once you're done, click send and this will send the one-time password, this OTP verification email. So I'm just going to receive an email now in a moment. I'm going to show you exactly how that looks like. All right, so after a couple of seconds only, I received an email website ownership verification and here is our one-time password. We copy and paste this into the form field over here and we can click verify. After this has been verified, we can see here with green letters, it says verified. Let's just move on to the next step. And here we have GDPR regulations. This is very important in case you are working with any kind of uh, contacts or any kind of users or customers that are living in the EU borders, so the European Union, then you would need to have confirmation that you can email them. So there we have two check marks or two toggle switches. Have your EU leads agreed to your GDPR terms and conditions? If they have, then you can toggle this to yes. Have your EU leads given you consent to communicate with them? Then you can turn on the toggle switch to yes, if they have or have not. Moving on, you will now put in the actual list where you want to add the list that you import and if you want to tag them with a specific tag. Previously, before you, you have that, you can see all of the, all of the lists that are already added to your account, but in case you don't have any list, you can just create a list from here. Similarly, you can create a tag if you don't have any yet. You can also see the sample file of how it looks like. So you can download the sam sample file of how the actual leads uh, CSV file needs to look like. So then you can, you can visit it. Let me just show you very quickly. This is a sample file, so it needs to have email, first name, uh, last name, and so on. So you can see and download this sample file to use and kind of put in your leads into CSV file. But most of the platforms will provide you a similar 
file uh, a csv file to import and then when you are done you can click import leads upload that csv file that you have downloaded from a different uh, from a different platform or that you manually added to the sample file and then it's going to look like this I'm just going to import what I have downloaded so this functionality will find all of the headers from your CSV file as I showed you earlier our CSV file had the headers in that uh, in that file and then we just need to map it to the actual form fields in our system so the first name will be coming here the last name will come in here and then you basically just choose the the different form fields to the actual to the actual fields that are available inside GrooveMail. So I'm going to pause real quick and finish these in order to go on to the next step. All right, now we finalize the actual mapping of the fields to the CSV file and we can click save and import. Now what we will do when we click the save and import, okay, let me just select a list, save and import. We are going to get a, a the, your file has been imported will notify you once admin approves your data basically we now have sent our list to be checked by the live person this admin that is going to check all of the lists imported and then once they have been approved you're going to see your imported leads over here so as you can see now imported leads you've uploaded this file there is a basically one total upload and this has been uploaded on this date and it's pending verification let me just show you now how it looks like when the verification has been approved so this is where you can see now that the status of the imports have been approved or not and then once you go into the actual leads you're going to see the actual leads over here that were that were basically uh, added through the CSV import. Now, in the CSV import, I only had one, which was an example test, and this is a blocked domain because test.com doesn't really exist. So this is how it shows up. But as you can see, all of the fields that were on my CSV file, they have been imported. So this is how easy it is to actually import your leads from different platforms over to GrooveMail. In case you do have any questions, feel free to uh, let us know on our support, support.groovedigital.com.